Hey boys, it's Harm9. Today we're going to be customizing the Ubermarked Sentinel Classic in Grand Theft Auto Online because this thing just got the wide body released today. The weekly update completely surprised me this week. It came out a day early, which is super weird. Uh, but anyways, we're starting off this update week by customizing the new Sentinel Classic wide body. So uh, we're coming right into Benny's here. We're going to go ahead and throw the wide body on this car and then see what else we can do. Now the wide body upgrade costs $700,000, which is really expensive. So it's a lot of money, but uh, I think it's gonna make this car really cool. So let's go ahead and do the upgrade. And yeah, it definitely looks pretty cool. So of course guys, like usual, we're gonna start off with the armor on this car. This thing looks absolutely sick with the wide body. I love it already. Race brakes, we gotta add those onto the vehicle, obviously. For the front bumpers, we do have quite a few different options. Now we gotta scroll through all of these and just see which one we actually like the best. Um, I am really not sure what I want to go for. Honestly, the stock front bumper looks super clean. Uh, I do like the racer front bumper though. I do think that that looks great too. The drift bumper is also quite cool. Um, I do like how the uh, the canards here kind of match up with the, uh, the wide bodied fenders. So I think I'm going to go for the drift bumper for the front. And for the rear bumper, we got a few different options as well. Um, there, ooh, man, the racer bumper looks super sick. We might have to go for the racer bumper. Uh, ooh, the drift, no, you know what? The drift bumper looks too good. We're gonna have to go for the drift bumper. I like the look of that a lot, so we're gonna go for that. For the engine, we do have a few different things we can do. We can change the color of the valve covers. Um, honestly, the red looks too good. I, I'm gonna keep the red, I have to. Uh, the cam belt cover though, we will change this up a little bit. Um, I think we will go for the exposed pulleys. We're gonna go for the red ones. Uh, I know you can't really see them because the hood opens backwards on this car, but you know what, we're gonna do it anyways. As far as the strut brace goes, um, I usually go for the titanium ones. I think that's probably what we're gonna do on this car as well. Uh, let's go for the, mm, I don't know. I kind of like the medium titanium strut brace. I think that looks really cool. So we're gonna go for that one. That looks really good. Intercooler, we can of course add this. Let's go for the twin fans. I like the look of that. For the air filter, uh, that is on the other side. Let's see if we can uh, see. I do kind of like the stock one because it's got a titanium look to it. Uh, we'll see if there's any other cool ones though that we can add. Uh, the carbon plenum is kind of cool, but I feel like I feel like honestly the the stock one's too good. So we're just gonna go with with uh, with the stock one. For the engine upgrade, we're gonna upgrade that all the way up. For the exhausts, we do have quite a few different options here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure which one I want to go with. I think that we're gonna go for we're gonna go for one that's a bit bigger. I think the titanium slash exhausts. I think they look the best, so we're gonna go for those. They're super clean. For the fenders, we can go for carbon or secondary colored fenders. I like the look of the stock though, so we're just gonna leave that alone. We can add some more lights onto the car. We can also go for some tape on this thing. We can change the color of the headlight glass. That's kind of cool too. Uh, let's go iridescent just because I think it kind of adds something to the car. So we'll do that, maybe actually blue. No, we'll stick with iridescent for right now. For the grill itself, we can go for the STD grill if we want to. We can go for the racer grill. Uh, there's a lot of really good looking options for this vehicle actually, so. Um, I think we're going to go for the STD grill because it's just the cleanest looking, so let's do that. For the hood, we can add hood catches, of course. Uh, I do like the angled hood pins. We're going to go for those ones, I think. For the hood itself, we do have a lot of different options here as well. Uh, so let's take a look through. Ooh, man. The scoop hood looks really good. I do like the look of that. Uh, the STD hood is also cool. The cutout hood's cool as well. Uh, the transparent hood, that's pretty neat. Um, I think that we're gonna go for the scoop hood because I think that, that just looks fantastic. So let's go for that, uh, why not? For the interior of the vehicle, we can go for a fully stripped interior. I like the carbon dash on this car. I think that looks sick, so let's do that. For the doors, uh, we can change these. I personally like having the full interior like that, so we're just gonna leave it alone. For the seats, uh, we are gonna change these. I do wanna go for something that looks a little, a little cooler. We're gonna go for the carbon track seats. They look pretty neat. The steering wheel, I want to go for the, where is it, the Rally Clubman? Yeah, the Rally Clubman, that's the one I usually go for, so let's do that. For the light color on the dash, I want to go for something kind of nice and bright. Um, I think that race yellow is a, probably a pretty good fit. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that's even easier to see? I kind of, maybe a bright blue, is there ultra blue? Let's go ultra blue. That uh, kind of accents itself well from the background, so I do like that. Um, we're gonna go for the half cage on this car because I don't like a full cage, but uh, the half cage, you know what, I think it looks okay, so we're gonna do that. For the lights, of course, we are gonna go xenon. For the neon kit, we could go for like just a full one just and leave it white. 
but I don't really like neon kits that much, so we're gonna leave it off the car. For the livery though, we do have the uh, the black speed stripes. We got those in white as well. We have the black arrow stripes, the white arrow stripes as well. Black racer and white racer as well. We have the piss wasser stripes. That is a pretty cool look. We got the redwood livery. That looks pretty sick too. Pole position. That's kind of neat too. We have the cable, the raga rum. The zero stripes, that is pretty sick too, actually. You know what, we might just have to go for that. It's kind of BMW themed. It's it's missing the one other color, but it, oh, that looks pretty sick. I do like that. We got the debonair livery, the douche gold livery as well, and back to none. I think that we have to go for zero stripes. I just, I, I think it looks too good to, to pass up. So we're going to go for that. For the plate, we are going to go yellow on black. For the louvers on the rear of the car, ooh, that's pretty cool. The livery extends down them. I do like that a lot. Ah, uh, I don't know. We might have to go for louvers. I typically don't go for louvers. I don't think that they look very good usually, but uh, the livery does kind of extend down them. That's uh, that's something we'll come back to. I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, for the color itself, I want to go for something that still like looks good no way it's this livery separates from one side of the line to the other color and then that is so cool that is that might be the coolest livery i've ever seen in gta that's fantastic like that is so cool that they did that the lines of the livery separate where the color goes on the car that is crazy actually i love that 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 is like that's killer from rockstar like seriously that is that is probably the coolest livery i've ever seen in this game um what color do we want to go for with this thing i was thinking the silver looked really really good uh we could go for like maybe a diamond Ooh, diamond blue though what if we did it for the other side that's the only thing that i'm thinking i don't know i kind of like it though because it makes it so you can actually see all the other livery uh pieces on this car uh when it's on this side of the uh of the of the paint um oh man could go for could go for a, the different shade of white actually that you know what i think that might be the play um yeah, it's just the different shade of white i mean i think that that looks really good Let's do frost white. Let's see what it looks like with the uh, with the secondary color as frost white as well. Um, just out of curiosity. Oh, okay. I see this part of the livery, no matter what, is just white. Okay, so it doesn't actually change. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, okay, well, we're going to go frost white then to match up. Um, I think that looks really good, though. I think that looks super sick. Uh, for the interior color, I think I, I kind of want to go for a red. Uh, it's going to be grace red, though, because I want it to be a little darker. Um, so we'll do that. This car looks so good, man. I, I really like how this has turned out. Uh, you can add more lights onto the roof as well. Ooh, that's pretty sick. There's also the roof racks that we can add. Um, you know, I am really tempted to go for those lights, but I just don't know if they, like, I mean, they work, but I just don't know if they work well enough to, like, put them on, you know what I mean? Um, it's tempting. I, I don't know about that. That's something we're gonna have to come back to. For the skirts, we are gonna change these up. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. Maybe the drift skirts? Well, the drift skirts, they join up the, uh, the wide body kit, so I think it's probably gonna, yeah, it's gonna have to be the drift skirts. They look so good. Let's do that. For the sun strip, we can add this on. Um, you know what? I do think that it actually works pretty well with this car, but I still don't think that I wanna go for it. Uh, for the spoiler, we do have a few different options here. We got the ducktail spoiler. Ducktail looks so sick, man. Looks so sick. The tail spoiler also looks sick. Street spoiler, that's pretty cool. Uh, we got the GT spoiler as well. That looks tight. Um, the drift spoiler oh we got the racer spoiler that looks insane really like the look of that uh the attack spoiler as well oh man the attack spoiler is crazy you know what the stock spoiler looks so good but i think that the racer spoiler is just something else we got to go for that it, we just we just have to add that onto the car suspension we are going to slam this thing down as much as we can i think that's going to look pretty good race transmission that maxes out the acceleration, so the turbo is just going to make this thing even faster, so let's do that. For the wheels, where's the, uh, oh, you can't go into the street category in Benny's? What? Oh, man, that kind of sucks. Okay, well, honestly, the stock wheels, like, there's something about the stock wheels that just look too good. The only other thing that I may be thinking is, like, these. Like, I don't know why, but they kind of work with this car, and I don't ever do those, so, like, I, there's a part of me that's kind of tempted. The Forged 5 actually look insanely good, too, though. 
I'm thinking we might actually have to go somewhere else to do the wheels on this car. Um, just because I, I just don't think that we can do them here. Uh, we do have bulletproof tires. Did I do that? I can't remember. Maybe I did. Uh, for the windows, we are going to tint these all the way out. I think that looks really good. Uh, we have to go back to, what is it? The hood? I think it's the hood. Or no, it's the roof. The roof. We have to go back to the roof. Um, I don't know about the, about the lights yet. You know what? Actually, I think I think I am going to go for them. I think they look too good to pass up. Let's do that. For the louvers, should we add these as well? The car already looks insane. Let's add the louvers. We might as well just add to it. Um, it looks so good, man. It looks so good. I, you know what? Why not? We're going crazy with this car. Let's do it. Let's. We might as well do that. Um, and then we're going to take this thing to Los Santos Customs to try to look for some uh, some other rims. I do like the stock wheels. I think they look, they look fantastic, but uh, I would just like to you know, customize it, make it my own. So man, man, oh man, oh man. I, you know what? I think the concave mega mesh look too good. We're going to have to go for these for the color of these. Uh, we could go black. I feel like black's really basic though. I'm almost tempted to go for a frost white. Actually, I think the frost white works super well with this. Uh, we could go for, or, or, or hang on now, maybe a bronze. Yeah, no, we're going bronze. We, we're going bronze. It, it, it looks so good. It looks so good. Okay. All right. Let's take this thing outside. We're going to get into the full review now of this car. Uh, we got to start off with the sound test. So let's, uh, let's see what this thing sounds like. It sounds pretty good. Um, it sounds sounds kind of basic at the same time. So you know, nothing, nothing super special there with the exhaust sound. I don't think. Um, you know, it doesn't sound bad. It doesn't sound over the top either. Uh, I think you know, it's a it's a good sound. It's a good sound for sure. Um, this man, I'm I'm extremely happy with how uh, with how this customization has turned out. I think that this thing looks super super good. Um, yeah, absolutely no complaints from me about the customization. Uh, Rockstar added a lot to this car, I think, with this uh, with this wide body kit upgrade. So that is pretty cool. Wide body kit does cost a lot more than I was expecting. Seven hundred thousand is a lot. Uh, that is a lot of money for this uh, for this wide body. So uh, that is something that you guys are going to want to keep in mind, especially uh, with the new DLC coming on on December thirteenth. Um, you're going to want to hang on to some of your money and uh this is this is a big spend right now but i it is really cool and it, i would say it probably is worth it to just make your sentinel classic look that much better um so you know that that is a good thing now when it comes to uh, the performance of this vehicle it's been a long time since i've driven the uh, the original sentinel classic so i honestly i can't really tell you guys if it's uh, if it feels a lot faster um i do remember the sentinel classic uh always being kind of kind of hard to control um not having the greatest handling this thing is kind of the same way uh it kind of likes to oversteer a lot but it's it's oversteer to the point where it's actually not that controllable um i mean it, it is controllable but it's not uh it's not exactly my ideal amount of of oversteer um it, it does also kind of understeer a little bit which is low-key like really making me angry um but it's like it oh it, it understeers until it oversteers and then when it oversteers it's too much um like this for example like exactly right like i just showed you like that i don't know that's kind of frustrating to me um the car the car definitely has a very weird handling balance it could be that i'm on pc and that my inputs are either you know a hundred percent or zero percent uh because obviously i'm on the keyboard so when you press it in it's a hundred percent turn and then when you like oh it's you know zero percent turn so um it could be that i'm on keyboard that that is something that uh you know you guys that are on controller might find with this car it's actually not that hard to control i will say that this thing is quite easy to drift and it it is actually very controllable when you're using the handbrake going around corners um that seems to be helping me a lot i seem to be able to actually control the oversteer really well so that is nice um it's a very interesting car honestly it's a it 
I don't know. I, I like it a lot. I love how it looks. I love the customization options. Um, the acceleration is pretty good. I can tell that the top speed is also, you know, relatively decent. It's not the best ever, but uh, it's far from the worst, I'd say. But the handling is just where I'm, I'm just a little bit confused. You know, obviously around a corner like this, that's pretty sweeping. It's, uh, it's not a very sharp corner. The car is fine. It's absolutely fine. There's no problems at all. Uh, but when it comes to, you know, a little bit, you know, sharper corners, like for example, this one, um, the back end of the car likes to really step out on you and uh, oversteer a little bit too much. And then it's kind of weird because on that corner, it just, just doesn't. So I really don't know what to make of this car's handling. It's good, but uh, it, it could it could definitely be it could definitely be better. That's for sure. Um, it's it's worse than I would have expected. Let's just say that you know with the wide body kit, the extra track width and everything, um, I would have expected this car to handle like actually significantly better than it does. But um, you know what? It, it is an old. Uh, an old car in the first place so you know it's not going to handle like a like a modern car gta does tend to do that the old cars handle like old cars and the new cars handle more like new cars so uh, that is something to be considered for sure um very cool car i would recommend picking it up i mean i think i think you're in for like 1.4 mil or something once you buy the actual sentinel classic and then put the wide body kit on it you know, it's not the end of the world. It's it's a it's a pretty average price in GTA these days. So, um, you know, if you guys are interested in the Sentinel Classic wide body, I'd say go for it for sure. Uh, just keep in mind, you know, saving up some money for this DLC that's coming uh, in only a few short weeks here. So. Um, anyway guys that's pretty much it for the sentinel classic wide body customization and review in grand theft auto online if you guys enjoyed this video if you learned something a like is of course appreciated if not dislike subscribe if you guys are new and i will see you all in the next video until then take care peace